Right now on Denver 7 News, Colorado paying respects today to another fallen officer. The tribute for a Weld County Sheriff's deputy after she was killed in a hit and run crash. A downswing on Wall Street to round out the week. The projections for your budget following the Fed's latest interest rate hike. A busy weekend ahead in Colorado's high country as tourists and natives head up to the mountains for fall leaf peeping. But a planned power outage could make it difficult for some businesses to profit off the tourism. How they're preparing to serve in spite of this challenge. Good Saturday morning and welcome to Denver 7 News. I'm Jessica Crawford. Thank you so much for joining us. So right now we are going to take a live look outside at downtown Denver. Such a gorgeous start to our day. We're bringing in meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo right now. And Lisa, it looks like our day is just going to keep getting better. It is, you're right. It's going to get warmer too. We'll be close to 80 here in town, more 60s for the mountains. And you mentioned it, very busy in the high country this weekend, especially right along I-70. Here's the view from Vail Village here early this morning. And down and through the valleys, we're going to see more peaking likely next weekend. But you can see with some of these aspen stands, already starting to see some changing colors. Beautiful hiking forecast, low 70s both today and tomorrow with some dry conditions. A little breezy. Winds will kick up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour in the mountains here this afternoon. Right now near freezing in some mountain towns here in town, 50s and 60s, a beautiful start to our Saturday morning. And here's a look at our highs, almost more summer like conditions for the first weekend of fall, typically in the upper 70s this time of year. We're going to be right around 80, though, with a lot of sunshine today and then gorgeous tomorrow night for the Broncos game. I'll have that full tailgating forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Lisa, thank you. A 24 year old woman lost her future in an instant during a hit and run crash just about a week ago. The friends, family and colleagues and community of Weld County Sheriff's Deputy Alexis High Noons want to honor her memory today. Denver 7's Christian Lopez is live with the details on this memorial procession this morning in tribute of this young woman's life of service. And the community is invited to pay their respects along the procession route this morning. It just departed from the Weld County Jail here about 15 minutes ago. Here's a live look at that procession. It is making its way to the Foundations Church in Loveland. Deputy High Newts was riding her motorcycle to work on Sunday when she was struck and killed by a minivan along Weld County Road 37. She died just a week before her 25th birthday. She was about five minutes away from the jail where she had worked as a detentions deputy since 2018. The driver, Norberto Garcia Gonzalez, was found and arrested Monday in Fort Collins. We spoke to a neighbor, Linda McKee, who lives near the crash site, who is thankful for all that Deputy High Newts did for the community. I know everybody has a lot of respect and support of our police and we're grateful to them and appreciate them. So of course it was really heartbreaking for the community. The funeral will be closed to the public, but Foundations Church will be live streaming it this morning for anyone who wants to watch it. After the funeral, Deputy High Newts' remains will be taken to North Dakota for a private burial. We're live in Greeley this morning. I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. Christian, thank you. A brutal end to the week on Wall Street with the Dow sinking to its lowest point since 2020. The Dow, NASDAQ, S&P, they were all down by more than one and a half percent at the closing bell. Investors losing confidence as inflation remains at a record high and worries of a recession loom. This comes after the Federal Reserve raised interest hikes earlier this week by three fourths of a percent. And now new projections show that the Fed is expecting unemployment to go up. Analysts say the central bank is expecting the rate to rise from 3.7 percent in August to as high as 5 percent next year. And if those projections hold up, it would mean between one and two million Americans could lose their jobs. But oil prices dropping to below $80 per barrel this morning. That's the lowest they've been since January could mean that you start paying less at the pump. Triple A saying that Gas prices were $3.68 for a gallon of regular gas, and that is down by 21 cents from one month ago, but up half a dollar from a year ago. But this also signals investors may be concerned about where the economy is headed. The East Coast feeling the effects of Hurricane Fiona moving north, but now the new extreme weather targeting another part of the country this morning.